Yoga with Coops. Welcome to my home. This is where I practice most of my my yoga space and my yoga practice is here in my home. Creating my yoga space is so important for my mind and my body and building in these habits. So this is one of the reasons why I've created 21 day strike a pose challenge. It's to help you create your fundamentals to building your house, your yoga house, wherever it may be. It might be at work, it might be at home, it might be out on a field somewhere. Wherever is your space, your time to connect with your body, your mind and be on the mat. You might not even have your mat actually, you might have just a space at work or, or a towel. Wherever you are, you can connect in. Okay, and so these 21 poses that I'm going to go through over 21 days can be practiced consecutive, consecutively over 21 days. If not, just pop into these videos and chats whenever, whenever you feel the need to connect with your yoga house. Okay, and so the first posture we're going to look at today is one that sometimes can be brushed to one side, but it's super powerful for creating calmness in your mind, but also feeling rooted and strong in your body and it's called Tadasana. So I like to say Tadasana or Tada. So come and stand up at the top of your mat and it's a really essential pose to feel rooted in the ground. So lift the toes up, notice what it feels like when you remove the toes from the mat, then glue them down into the mat, lift the heels. So you start to feel that springy feel, bend into the knees a little bit here, then push the heels down into the mat. Feet can be hip width apart here, or they can be together. So bring the big toes together, notice what that feels like. A little gap in the back of the feet, okay? And see if that feels right in your hips. For me, I like to keep them fit, hip, hip width apart, okay? Just feel plugged into the mat. So glue the feet in. Imagine that the feet have got four corners, and you start to glue them into the mat. A nice thing to picture is imagine that there's this kind of strobe of light coming from the earth, shooting all the way up the body. And it starts to lengthen you, like a mountain becomes really tall, okay? And you start off at the bottom of the mountain, you start to lift up into your mountain, finding that energy, shooting up the body. Open up the palms. Take a few breaths in here. Breathe the belly button in. Lower the lower back down, the sacrum area, just let it melt down. So we go from feeling like this, pull the bum in a little bit, but keep things loose. Ground into your feet, ground into the earth. And maybe when you're here, you close off your eyes and you take your moment of, of foundation, first foundation to our house is standing tall, standing strong. And taking that moment of inhaling, checking in with the body and exhaling out, softening into the ground, into the earth. And sometimes in the practice you bring the palms together and take a moment into dasana to be grateful for yourself or maybe set an intention whilst you're in your foundation pose of the mountain pose. Maybe you take time to visualize what strength, what strength and power means to you within a pose, like the mountain. I always find mountains, you look up at them, they're quite challenging to think that you're gonna walk up that mountain. When I was walking up Snowdon with my family, I looked, I was like, really? And through some of that mountain, the walk, I took time to reflect, it was quiet, peaceful, and there was times where I was out of breath. And so let your mountain just guide you, guide your breath to calmness. Whatever floats up in this mountain, any thoughts, accept them and let them float away. And slowly release out of the mountain and let things just shake out. So try the mountain pose at home, just standing. You can stand anywhere. You can stand by the kitchen sink and you're doing your makeup or brushing your teeth. You can practice mountain pose, feeling strong, connecting in with your core, breathing it in and letting things just soften in the, in the mind. So it's an awesome pose to start with. 
Look forward to seeing you tomorrow, guys. Bye.